warfare that has been released a few months now keys for spiritual warfare right here on amazon you can just look for um uh, keys for spiritual war warfare a book from dr odisman and of course you can go to my personal website dr odisman.com you get an audio version only available on my website and also you can also get an uh, ebook on my website on amazon you can get a physical book or an ebook amen so you can go right there you can go to any one of my websites information will be on your screen you can also get it at kingston bookshop you can get it at all of our church branches and of course that all important number call that number and we'll be happy to give you some information how we get it and you'll be able to get your copies in fontana pharmacies island wide God bless you wherever you're watching this program from. This is your pastor, Reverend Dr. Otis Manning. And as per usual, always a beautiful week and always a beautiful time for us to celebrate with you. Today, for the first time, I think I'm doing this for the first time in so many years. And first time definitely right here at 92 Reddills Road. We want to invite you as a church family amen to church unfortunately i won't be able to show you a full shot of church but this is our new sanctuary this is our brand new location every sunday we are here eight o'clock and ten forty-five. two services tuesdays 11 o'clock and seven o'clock brand new time since curfew has been reversed and friday night miracle night every friday we're here Amen. Information for contact will be below right there Com contact information you can Get us right there if you want to visit our websites there look there yeah man right there amen and we're looking forward to having you visiting us amen if you're believing god for a miracle financial breakthrough healing deliverance whatever it is i want you to believe god amen and the shout and the church say amen. god bless you see you for church big up yourself amen. i mean i want to say thank you to all the folks who've been watching this program and you've been following us on this amazing journey and I've been sharing with you that we will be relocating to a new address. Well, hallelujah. Let's take a look. Let's go. Now, you've seen it. I'm not 100% complete, but we are much further than where we started from. So congrats, God Family Ministry, and congrats to all our viewers, our partners, those who made the journey with us along the way um let's look at what it used to look like You remember them photos and the videos and I keep telling you we're moving in X weeks and you probably wonder how on earth we're going to move. Let's look at the rubble. Let's look at this. I'm standing on a heap of rubble, as you can see. A heap of rubble from our construction work. And uh, that's what we look like. And let's look what we look like now. God amazing. God is absolutely beautiful and amazing and I'm so thrilled for the journey that he has taken us from and what he has done with us. And um, you know, you know, many people thought we would not make it. Many people thought we'd not be here, but look at us now. We are here. Faith, ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage your faith. Stand in faith. Stand believing God, knowing all things are possible. There's still quite a lot more work to be done, but we are so grateful to God. We finally relocated. Relocation notice 92 Red Hills Road, no longer 139 Red Hills Road. Please do not go to our old address or brand new address. And so I will have to do this for you. So just this is a landmark. Let's look at this building here. Let's take a look on everything around it. Eh? 360.
All right. So I'm going to keep that video in just for a little bit until people get used to it for, you know, a month or so. So that's our brand new address. Um, we're literally opposite Red Hill Small and it's been a blessing. I mean, thus far, God has been faithful. Amen. And we are grateful. God has been faithful. We are grateful. God has been faithful and we are grateful for his goodness. And I want to encourage you. Whether you're watching from, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage, I want to encourage you to stick with God, stay with God and watch God work. Watch the God of miracle signs and wonders work. And um, I know God has never failed us and I know it is not going to start. Now, I want you to believe in him, trust in him and he's going to be doing amazing things. All right. So keep focus, keep focus, keep focus. And let's watch God work supernatural things. Amen. Uh, there's a program, wonderful program coming up. And um, I want you to see the goodness of God. Let's go to a program. Let's get it. How often do we live lives and we think everything is okay? We think is everything is all right. But the question is, what perspective are you looking from? I'm going to explain that and then I'm going to make it a little bit more clear to you. And sometimes we can be right. What do you see? What's written on it? Huh? What's written on it? What can you see? Read what you're seeing. Virgin Oliver, I hear you. Huh? Nothing. Now the truth is, I'm seeing extra virgin. I'm seeing bunnies. What do you see? You can't see nothing. Sister, go change your glasses. What can you see? You seeing it now? Now, in life... <clears throat> The perspective in which we see things from are very important. And there are some people who, who and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not at all condoning with violence. I'm not. I'm not condoning with the life people live. I am not. But sometimes, you know, years ago, and I, of course, I'm not supporting, I'm certainly not Bondi Killer. Bondi Killer had a song years ago called Look. Anybody remember Look? All right, let me say more now, get it. But no, I'm not going to say, I'm just going to say Look. And, um, you know, his, his explanation for having a gun was the hardship that he, he, he went through. And so his excuses, and I've talked to many people who do wrong, their excuses to do wrongs is, you know, they have it hard. And so when a man thinks, you know, my back is against the wall and I can't see anything else, his mind tells him it's okay to rob somebody else to live okay. Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me? Scammers. They say, you know what, white people robbed us all our lives. And so that's the mirror they look on and say, you know, it's okay for me now to rob them. Make sense? Talk to me now, man. No, I've, 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 I've heard, not all of them is like this. I've heard, and um, we call these guys thieves who rob and give them girlfriend. And I've heard thieves who rob and give to whole people. They rob people and then they find whole people who don't have, of course, they're not giving them everything. And they give it to them. Now, does that make it right? Of course not. That's the mirror they're looking from. So now, how do somebody know if they are right or they're wrong? How do you know if the life you're living is right or wrong? How do you know you're on the right path? The Bible declares something like this. That is a way that seems right to a man. But the end thereof is destruction. It looks right. It looks right. Can you tell a man that loves rum and wants rum? Can you tell him rum is wrong? You mad? Are you getting what I'm trying to say to you? Can you tell us somebody who's going to the alcoholic, you know, shop or whatever you call it, rum bar, we call it in Jamaica, and purchasing rum? Can you tell him that that's not good for him? You know what he'll tell you? He's going to tell you everybody's going to die. He's going to say something going to kill you. And so to him, might as well the rum kill him. Anybody hear me? So life is, is, is based on, number one, your vantage view. Vantage view is, is the advantages we have. If you write, write it down, your vantage view. The advantages you have. No, no, most of us, you don't need to rob or shoot. Or what? Because you didn't grow up in a life that was too hardcore. So life, now example now, some of you grew up in a different community and so you'll not see some things and I do I. No. And so a young man in the ghetto whose father has been murdered 
one thing is going to think, and I'm going to tell you because I've experienced it and I've seen it. You know what I'm going Any man will kill my father. When me get big, me I go, <clears throat> hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Are you understand what I'm saying to you? Now, that's his reality. That's, he lives for that. What make you do the things you do? Number one thing is the advantage point. Now, as a Christian, as an advantage point, we know that sin kills, true? Can you tell that to a sinner? Huh? You who have been enlightened know that the wages of sin is? Huh? You know that, right? Does a sinner know that? How many of us, we are praying, hoping, believing God for our own families to be saved? But it's taking a little longer than you want. How many of us have seen your friends going down the wrong path and you want them to change, but it don't look like they want to change? How many people have gotten in fights, quarrels, and you've looked back on it and you realize, you know what? I should not have gotten myself in this in the first place. Anybody with me so far? Let's turn to a psalm. <clears throat> Let's pray to God that this psalm will help you. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Are you ready? Let's try that again. Are you ready? Let's go to a psalm called Psalm 119. I think that's my number. You call my number? That's my number. Are you there? Psalm 119. Verse... 101. 101. I have two. refrained my feet from every evil way. Uh -huh. That I might keep thy word. That I might keep thy word. Verse 2, 102 says, I have, I have not departed from thy judgment, but thou hast taught me. Verse 3. How sweet are thy? How sweet are thy? Unto my? Sweeter than? Only come to my mouth. So now you realize that this person is making judgment on one percept. Now we're going to find out as we go down more. Read on. The mic is off. Through huh? thy precepts, uh -huh. I get understanding. Uh -huh. Therefore, I hate every false way. Read on. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet uh -huh. and a light unto my path. Thy word has been a what? Huh? Huh? Let's read verse 97. We'll come into that. Read verse 97. Holy Spirit, have your way. God bless you. I know you were blessed by the program. I'm so sorry to cut it, but I had to share a few testimonies. Let's get into it. What's wrong with your foot? No can you get up? Can you get up now? Yes, I can get up. Get up, please. Get some water quickly. Just a cup. I have a bottle of water beside me. I right, hold it. Father, I release your fire, your blood, your spirit upon this water. I rebuke every devil, every spirit. Lord, I am your son and your servant. Your word have sent me, and as I go and do what you've called me, do a testimony. That God, you will show and you will show up and let people know that you have called me to do this job. By your grace, I pray as this woman follow instruction. May her faith be at the right place and let there be healing. I declare in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the fire of God be on the water and let the water be consecrated. May the Spirit of God come upon the water now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Go ahead. And pour some of the water on your foot. Go ahead. <laughs> Quickly. Battery yeah. shut down in 30 seconds. Jump. Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. Get up, jump. Battery shut down in 30 seconds, it says. I want to hear your testimony before this goes. What's happening? Yes, I can jump. You can jump. When last have you jumped? I couldn't tell when I couldn't move the foot. You could move it. No, not move. like this. Are you jumping now? Yes. Are you surprised? No! What's happening with your foot? It is good. 
it is good I give God thanks. I have not, I was not even able to wash the bottom of my feet for about three months now. Three months now. What is three happening? Three months now. Wow, what's happening now? And now I can, I can walk without the pain, and I try to hold up my foot to eat up and wash, and I could do that. I could not wash my foot. I had to bend down and put the rod under the foot and put the towel on the floor and dry. I couldn't lift it up. Wow. So God have blessed you tonight. Amen. 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 Hey, lift up your head. What do you mean by no? Hey, look up, lift up your head. You will not have any rest as long as you are in this body. You will be tormented day and night, morning, evening. There will be no rest to you, spirit. Your assignment in this body is ended. She belongs to Jesus. There shall be no rest to you. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, Jesus. No. <laughs> no, Jesus. What's your name? What's your name? Hey. Legion. Ah. How long you there? How long? How long you there? Hey. Lift up. How long? You know what that mean? <laughs> eh? You know what I mean? Eh? You know what Legion is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's all. Right. So there will be no rest to you. Legion. I release fire all over this body. I release fire all over this body. Fire, 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 fire. Fire. Let it begin to burn. Let it 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 burn. Put paper. I release the fire of God. Fire. Let it start in our stomach. Let fire erupt. Let fire. Let fire burn there. Let fire burn there. Let fire burn. Fire. Let fire. Let fire. Let fire. Let fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I put fire all over this woman. I put fire. You will have no rest. 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 They will have no rest. No rest for you in this body. There is no rest for you in this body. Fire all over. Fire, 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 fire. Get paper. Fire, fire all over. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. You will have no rest. 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 I'm so sorry to break your program. I know you've really been blessed and you've been encouraged, but I want to encourage you, amen, as you've been blessed. If you've not yet become a partner into this beautiful ministry, why don't you consider becoming a partner? And also very important, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that, but what, what, what happened to this? You need to get your copy. Thank you for your purchasing of your copy. Thank you for getting your own copy. I mean, thank you for the folks who purchased the copy. I'm happy for you. And I'm blessed by you getting a copy. I'm really appreciative of you purchasing yours. And I pray that you've been blessed. Kiss us with your warfare, Kings and Bookshop, Fontana Pharmacy. Get yours today. And Amazon, Amazon as well. And I pray you'll be blessed by that. Listen, God has been doing amazing things. And if you, in case you just join us, we've relocated to 92 Reddles Road. Not far, one minute drive literally, or less than a minute drive from where we were, about 10, 15 minutes walk, 10 minutes walk, 15 minutes walk, minute drive, all right? One minute drive. And um, of course, there's less traffic to get to us. 
but there is more blessing and more fun. All right. And I want you to know that the God I serve, the God of miracles, signs and wonders, I've never failed and he was not going to start now. Or wherever you're watching me from, wherever you are viewing me from, I want you to know the God that we serve is more than able. He's more than able to do exceedingly more than able of our way with the asking or the matching. And I want you to believe God. Believe God with us. Believe God in the good time, in the bad time. Believe God in difficult times. And I want to pray with you that the God I serve will come through with you. If you've not yet considered to be a partner, there's going to be two numbers on your screens right here. There. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm going to let the, those numbers stay there. Th those are the contact numbers. You can always contact us for prayer as well. But I'd love to hear from you if you want to be a partner with us. And they're there for you for prayer. If you're in need of prayer, we'd love to pray with you and for you. I'd really love to believe God with you. Amen. As we trust God together for his faithfulness and for his love. I want to pray with you. I want to believe God with you. And I want to trust God as you trust God. I want to trust God with you. And so, Father, I pray for the person watching, the one who's starting a new business who needs help, the one who's struggling with business, the one who's struggling at work who needs a new work. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the one who just got baptized recently. I pray your blood and your grace. I pray, God, that the sacrifice made on the cross will be effectual and fervent to move even for these people who are believing. I pray for strength. Men of God, women of God watching me, I pray open doors. I pray for salvation on the folks who need it, and I pray deliverance. God, remember your people. Remember those who are in fear, who need help but don't know where to go. I pray make the way of escape for them. Lord, remember your sons. Remember your daughters. Remember them that put their trust in you. Promise never to let them be put to a shame. Oh, God, I believe in you. All things are in your hand, Lord, and we stand only on your word. Oh, Father, if we're being foolish, we repent. God. But we trust you, but we believe in you, but we rely on you. Give us grace to believe and to trust you. Choose we to trust you and to take it by your word. We take it by your word. We believe, God, that all things work together for our good. We believe that them that trust in you shall be like Mount Zion. We shall never be removed. We believe, Lord. We shall never be put to shame. We cancel the plan of Satan. We cancel our lives. This our finances, our marriages, our homes, our business, our children, our country. Oh God, I want to afflict our prime minister. We come against the plan of Satan. We break the powers of hell. And I pray for every person watching. Grant them a testimony. I thank you for the books being opened and so many people are getting ready to receive favor. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for visas being released. Thank you for doors opening up. Thank you for fridges, furniture being released. And I praise you. Thank you, God. Thank you for the many people who will be testifying. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Listen, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for what God is doing and what God continues to do. If you just join us, I'm looking forward to seeing you. We'll move to a brand new location. 92 Redos Road. This is where we are. Let me show you what it looks like again. That's what the road, road to get to us looks like. And fasting is there every Tuesday. Power fasting. You don't want to miss this fasting. Life changing fasting. We're back to olden days where the supernatural miracle of God. Let me show you. This is what happened last week, Tuesday, or one of these Tuesdays. This is what happened. Let's look. Lift your leg. Lift your foot. Let go. Go. Let's help you. Jesus, the God whom I serve. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift it. Go. Go. Put it down. Go. 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 He smiles. He laughs. He's like, ah! He <laughs> doesn't cry. That's what happens in the Tuesday fasting. That's what I've been happening in Tuesday fasting. You don't want to miss it. Friday night, ministry night. Let me show you what happened on a Friday night. I speak for the word of the Lord. And I send it to the realm of the spirit. And I declare, let it not return void, but let it go and prosper. I declare the hand that have risen against your life so that you will not prosper. That hand will not prosper. I speak over you that what the enemy meant for evil, 
from tonight, may God turn it around for your good. That's what happens on a Friday night, the power for healing, the power for salvation, the power for deliverance. And you saw how God healed that hand. Oh, hallelujah. God is a miracle working God. I'm looking forward to seeing you visiting us on a Friday, visiting us on a Tuesday. And of course, this is what happens on what a Sunday. What do you Sunday. want God to do for you? Be sure. Be sure. So you're going to jump down off this chair and you're going to run by your business. Are you ready? Go. Run, go by your business. This is my first time seeing you, I figure. Never seen you before. Okay. I don't know on boy foot, right? No, sir. You have to tell me what's the difference now between then and now. I don't know on boy foot, so you gotta tell me now. Well, your swing did short. Huh? It couldn't go down flat. It couldn't go down flat. Now it's flat on the ground. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had some people who know the miracle working God. Hallelujah. I pray you loved it. I pray you've been blessed by what you just saw. God is absolutely the god of miracle i'm looking forward to seeing you i'm in 92 radios road you don't want to miss it coming to church is not just like coming to church it's an experience you experience god you never know what's going to happen in church i mean this sunday we had a lady who jumped off the chair who have a problem for years and i said jump and run and we saw the woman walk straight for how many years i have no idea god is so good listen don't miss an opportunity to come on fellowship with us 92 Redis Road, God from the Ministry International. Dr. Man is the name. God bless you. My pleasure serving you. Be blessed. Next week, same place, same time. Keep trusting in God. He will lead you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Jamaican people would say, wow, good. Stay, stay in faith and be blessed. And God's richest blessings. May his angels guide you to be with you. Until we meet again, God bless you. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Divine Encounter. Join us again next week. Same place, same time.